It's mail day. Well, kinda. I've just been gone for so long that I always neglect the mail because I know I gotta make videos of the mail. So uh, I'll show you. Um, the mail's sitting actually right there. See? These three boxes, one, two, three. All right, these gotta be opened. And uh, I know what this is. You guys are gonna be excited to see this. This one I know is food. So we're gonna get that. And this one is a new one from a friend of mine. We need to call someone because I can't just eat this stuff on my own. You know how this goes. The last time I made a video, this guy was like, I wanna be a part of the next video. So I'm gonna give him a call. In here, his name is Really, because when he says something and you tell him, he goes, Really? So that's why I call him Really. So boom, we're gonna click Really. We're gonna give him a call. Hello? Hey, what are you doing? I'm picking Sage. You're, you're picking what? Sage. Okay, sounds weird. You only pick it before a storm. Before a storm comes, that's when you have to pick that? Okay. I got a box of goodies and stuff. You want to be a part of it? Yeah, of course. I like eating weird food. Okay. I'm not far. Um, I'll be over there. Look, look out your back door. Okay. Bye. That was weird, but he's on his way. Look out my back door. What the heck? Look at this guy. Boom! Mail time! What's up guys? We got Watson here, the sacred sage picker <laughs> thunder being. Guy walks. What were you like? Walks on grass. Walks on grass. That's his. That's his. Uh, that's his queen name. Walks on grass. <laughs> well, we got some mail here today, so we're gonna open some stuff up. This is the one that uh, has all the goodies in it. We're gonna get to that really quickly. But I have this stuff here. So me and Rich Shelton went to Crazy Horse Mall. Go check out my Facebook feed. You will see all the crazy pictures I have at Crazy Horse, which is amazing because I had the privilege of going up to the face. To be able to be here, standing by the sculpture of this person is breathtaking. And standing in front of it and taking some really awesome shots and being somewhere where not a lot of people get to actually see. Ooh. Guide to Indian quill working. Love it. This is gonna be bomb.com. This teaches you like every straight quilling, wrapping on thin wood. Look at all this. Look at all this. Dang. Yeah, I'm gonna do all, I'm gonna do this whole book. Probably make another vlog about it. So, two pieces done. Thank you, Rich. These are awesome. I'm definitely gonna read this book. I'm absolutely gonna read this book. So, um, I don't know where to put these. That's done. Okay, <laughs> this one I'm excited for. Don't be too excited. Okay. Relax. He <laughs> gets a little scared. <laughs> careful. <laughs> be careful with these things. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Big giant box for just one little tiny thing. <laughs> yes. yes! Yes! I have a gorilla pod. Check it. I'll even show you what I'm working with right now. Look at this. Oops, sorry. This is what I'm working with. Look, I duct taped it so it sticks and it stays and the legs fall out. Hold this for a second there, sir. Look, these. These unscrew and they fall out like. It's supposed to fall out, but it's not, it's not actually falling out. But this is what I'm working with and then Ashley bought me this. So I got a new Joby Gorilla Pod. Boo, yeah. This is exciting. 
It's like Christmas. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what it looks like. I can't open it. This doesn't have a name on it or where it's from. Okay, good stuff. She told me she's sending us a package of goodies from another part of the world. And if you guys have weird food um, from your part of the world, then uh, send it to us and we'll eat it for you. This guy, will, he'll walk over the mountains through the thunder with the sage in his hand and he'll, he'll eat it for you <laughs> oh, oh look at all these goodies look at look at look at look at oh look at there's a note it says devon family and friends here are some of the asian snacks and candies that i remember growing up on hope you like all of them kimiko p.s those white rabbit candies it's not plastic it is edible rice paper. Have fun. So, we're gonna be eating plastic, is what she's saying. You gonna join us? You gonna eat some stuff? Yeah, I'm gonna braid my hair. And he braided his hair. Look at that. And we will. Whoa! These goodies. Okay, so I can't say any of these. So, do this. It says hi to you. I can read that. <laughs> okay, Watson, you get to pick one to eat. Which one do you want to eat first? He, this one he chooses, and it is the snow rice crap. There's a knife. What's that? It smells like, like an ice cream cone. What does it taste like? Weird. <laughs> Tastes me... salty and I don't know. I don't know how to describe that. But what's it taste like? Tastes like ice cream in the ice cream cone, like a crazy monster. Crazy monster ice cream cone. <laughs> Mom, you know you want to try this. Definitely taste Asian. <laughs> <laughs> A little salty, a little sweet. It's kind of different, huh? It's like, I like it. salty and sweet at the same time. Okay, Destin, pick one. Uh, that one. Right. We're gonna eat this one. I would uh, describe to you what it says, but I'm not that educated in this language. So I have no idea. So if you know what this says, comment what it means but I'm gonna eat it regardless. It's purely some kind of flexible something. It's kind of like a, uh, it smells like bubble gum. Smell it. But it has the consistency and the same exact color of an eraser. I might be eating an eraser. I wanna have a bite. All right, well here, you know what? Because I love you so much, you can have the first bite. Tastes like bubble gum with pink sugar. With a little bit of candy and that's all. Lemonade too. That's such a weird texture, huh? Yeah. Why do you open it in here? <laughs> it's like rubber. Vegeta <laughs> beans. Um, Vegeta beans. Uh -oh. Yeah. No. Yeah. Try. It's good. It's like candy. She didn't like it. It's sometimes you know what texture is a big thing. Let's have one of those. Open that up. Like, do you know what boba tea is? Yeah. Bubble tea? Yeah. It has the same texture. Wanna try it? Tastes like a jelly and... It's, it's like weird. a slime. Yeah, it's kind of gooey. Slime texture. Like a slime gooey? Yeah, they seriously yeah. come up with weird textured stuff. You would not like this, but you should try it. Look at it. It's like. I don't have a big bite. It's like a sea urchin coming out, and then it's like, nope. Nope. Definitely 
Asian flavor. I don't want to sound racist. I'm not racist. But you know, like an Asian flavor. Like I don't have a huge bite. Dinosaur jelly too. I actually like that one. But there's different colors, so they all taste different. I'm not gonna sit here and eat 50 of them. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> They're sitting here just eating candy all night. Oh god. This is cool. Kimiko, this is cool. I definitely can't eat all this candy right now. You could be the official opener of the tamarind candy. It's a little sour. What? I don't even know what tamarind is, but I'm gonna put it in my mouth. Even if I'm allergic. I'm eating this for you guys. Has the same hardness of like a Werther's Original. It tastes nothing like a Werther's Original. Okay. Ow, it's a little harder than a Werther's Original. Oh my God, I'm getting like flashbacks. I don't know, I can't figure it out. I think I need to wash it down with some salty, sugary Asian cookie. These all have just different flavors. You can't find this kind of flavor in the States. Bin Bin Rice Cracker. Bin Bin Rice Cracker. Bin Bin. What's your Indian name? <laughs> bin Bin. <laughs> okay, it's a uh, Bin Bin Rice Cracker. You figured that out by now, so. <laughs> bin Bin Bin. It's called Bin Bin. You. Tastes like Bin Bin. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, back in the day, it tastes like Bin Bin. <laughs> Try this. Tell me if it tastes like Bin Bin. Almost like Bin Bin. It's, it's like it's okay. a good snack. It's not bad. Like, I was kind of half expecting like really crazy flavored stuff, but it's really unique flavored stuff. But it's it's actually like new to taste buds. It's like it's semi refreshing. Clearly, product of Japan. I don't eat very many flowers, so I don't know what they taste like. But I mean, <laughs> you're the one picking sage in the thunderstorm. So, okay, what's next? Bang! It is gluten free, and it's product of Japan. Apple. Muscat? <laughs> so if you know the flavor of muscat, I don't really want to know the flavor of muscat. Here, here's muscat, the green one. It smells like apple. It smells like <laughs> <laughs> muscat. <laughs> I don't have one. I want to know what muscat tastes like. <laughs> Whatever muscat is, tastes pretty good. No clue what muscat tastes like. I can't even like, I can't even tell you what it tastes like. Like, oh yeah, it tastes like mango or something. I really don't know. <laughs> you wanna try one? You wanna try a muscat? Oh my God, there was only one muscat in there. Legendary muscat. Kinda like green apple mixed with grapes. <laughs> Maybe your muscat is just a combination of both of them together. Green apple and grape? Oh. Well, wouldn't it be called like grapple? <laughs> grapple. Or like a, like a, ah, babe. It's not my kid. So we have some creamy candy here. Thank you very much to Kimiko for the crazy creamy candy white rabbit. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> kind of like those Halloween candies. See? Rice paper. That's not rice paper. She's talking she about. It's not plastic, edible rice paper. Oh, this is the one? I was telling you. So, this is the one she says those white rabbit candies, it's not plastic, it is edible rice paper. Have fun. Then you get your own. <laughs> get your own rice paper. <clears throat> so, it's like. Look, you, you gotta see this. See that? It's like paper falling off of it. Oh my god, it's just like instantly dissolves in your mouth. Dissolved! I the same texture as Halloween candy. It's very hard. Kind of like the kind that gets stuck in your teeth. Almost tastes like frosting. So I'll save it for later. Boom! There it is! Done! We ate all of it. I think we ate all of it. Now we have a lot of extra stuff, so I am definitely going to be giving uh, people some of these things. If you guys want to try it out and you're uh, around, or even the people that come visit us for the Powell, you guys are going to be eating <laughs> Japanese candy. Kimiko, this is a huge shout out to you from the stage picker, Watson and I. Uh, he wants to try some different kind of foods. 
And here's the thing, if you guys are watching this and you have or know of or can acquire weird foods, um, send it to me. I wanna try it. I wanna eat the candies from different places in the world. Um, the different kind of homemade candies if you can do it or uh, snacks, chips, weird flavored things, I'll eat them. I, I think I'm gonna do it and a little bit more muscat in my life. <laughs> And uh, tamarind. I don't know what tamarind is, but it's, uh, it's something. So, any last words? Thank you. Okay, guys, we're out. So if you like this kind of stuff, I'll definitely eat more weird food. My kids will eat more weird food. My wife will eat more weird food. Watson will eat more weird food. <laughs> yeah. He'll come over and visit. Um, Just send it to me. I'll give you my mailing address. Hopefully you guys don't uh, poison me. It would be that great if you did that on purpose. That would kind of suck. Um, if it's hot food, I can do it. I might try some hot food challenge a little later on. Tell them, subscribe. Subscribe. Tell them, like it. I'm gonna like it. Paper. Like Make the choices.